resurrection of sorts of an old segment that we haven't talked about at, at all this year is our no no of the week. As last season, there were seems to be. <laughs> I think there, there literally all, was. There were like an, three, right? Well, there no. I think there ended up being seven no hitters. So no, well, wasn't there already like three or something in the month of going into the second oh, week of May last or something? Year, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was so much so that we literally had to create no no of the week because it was happening every week. Uh, this year, it's 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 well, last year it certainly tailed off after the implementation of the sticky stuff rules, where pitchers are no longer allowed to have uh, spider tack or whatever foreign substances on their hands. Uh, I think we did see that creep back into into baseball as spin rates definitely did increase by the end of the season, but we didn't see any more. No hitters, I think, after June or July. So yeah, I mean, they now they romantically hold their hands as they leave the field. So well, we'll get into that when we get the shit you can make up. But yes, uh, but we finally did have our first no hitter of the year, and it was with our New York Mets, or as I used to like to call them, the New York Mess. But we can't right now. No, I mean everything's working there. Yeah, everything's working really well for the Mets, uh, and in first place. By the way, I heard the weirdest stat today. This is the first time ever where both New York teams and both Los Angeles teams were in first place at the same time. All four teams. I can't believe yeah. that's never happened before. But it's, you would think just at some point of one season it would have happened at some like yeah. I, I think mean, you got to. I think you got to blame the mess for that. They kept they kept fucking it up over that time. They probably have three out of the four, or the Angels are kind of equally inept on on the West Coast. So, but all four are up there now. But. The Mets combined in a five-man no-hitter uh, last week against the Phillies, which is which is a crazy. tough that's that's a tough task. Well, the yeah, Phillies we talked got about some it. hitters. Yeah, we talked about it in our preseason, our preview, our prediction show, where you know we you could tell the way the, the Phillies were constructed. They weren't they weren't going to win win many games by their pitching. They were going to win by bludgeoning their opponents on offense, and they were unable to accumulate even one hit against against the Mets this week or last week. But it brings up the question, the, the five man combined no hitter, the five. It's a no hitter, but it shouldn't go in the books as a true no hitter. I feel like we talked about this last season. Yeah. Something similar happened and we gave it almost no credit for being a real no hitter. Um, yeah. It's more of an, it's, I mean, it's that's nice that five, you know, a starter and five, four relievers combined. I mean, it's cool, but it's really more of an indictment on the ineptness of the offense. The an offense based on the three true outcomes, except only two of those true outcomes happened for them throughout the game. So it's more. I think I'd more blame the Phillies than than give kudos to the the five men of of the Mets. So, yeah. Had to throw it in there because uh, I think this is not will not be the last of our no nos of the week. As I think it's going to get ball inter- era has returned to baseball. Well, I, th- I think it's, it's going to get interesting when the when the humidity levels rise, and it's definitely going to be <laughs> oh, that's that. Right. That's it's right. going to be that way from the Midwest to the East Coast, and your meteorologist Yankees, Peter the, the, the Yankees, who I, I do believe the the humidity is a little bit higher on the east coast because of the ocean um <laughs> uh I, you know i really I, there was a time in my life i'm not there anymore but there was a time in my life like in high school and in part of college i was obsessed with weather you're a weather I actually guy? took i actually took like a, Scott a weather, Van Pelt. I, I took a weather science class in college like i took yeah. one and it, i couldn't take it I mean, oh it, I, it was I f- brutal fucking loved it um nice. but so you missed your calling uh, you could be a meteorologist on the TV. I could be giving us free advertising on like Channel 9 Morning News every day or whatever. <laughs> Don't forget to tune into my podcast. <laughs> I've got a shitty baseball podcast <laughs> you should all listen to. It's mediocre to shitty. <laughs> <laughs> tune in. <laughs> um, yeah, so. That's pattern. Th- anyway. Um, I really am like in as much as I hate it right now, I think like watch out 
just watch out. And that's what all these those articles I've been reading and, and all the scientific side of articles I've been reading with regards to the baseball in the humidor. Just watch out. It's going to be baseball like a baseball science. America. It is going to be like a Super Bowl in Chicago right. in in at the in June through through August and beginning of September. It's going to oh. be like a fucking Super Bowl. Instead of no no of the week, this was no no of the year, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see. But <laughs> um, I mean, what Judge and Rizzo both are at what nine home runs each? I thought Rizzo was at ten, but maybe he might I'm be wrong. at ten. Yeah, he's, he's also at 10. hitting the ball three hundred and fifty feet to get a home run. I mean, three hundred. No, dude, dude, that third one in the three home run game was three hundred and nineteen feet. Yeah, there you go. So. Yeah, he is definitely taking advantage of the the short porch there in, in uh, But you know Stadium, what? So he was made to hit him. he was made to hit there, man. I yeah. mean, he he I think it's ridiculous at this point in what he's done so far unless he has a complete collapse and I'm I'm happy for him. Absolutely. Um I think he's I think he's finishing his career at Yankee Stadium. I mean, like I, I don't see, see why he'd be interested in going many, anywhere else, unless and I don't he see why the Yankees, drop, but I don't. Yeah, and I don't see why the Yankees would be interested in him going anywhere yeah. else. He seems he seems to be a fit. I could. Yeah, I, it didn't seem odd. It didn't seem nearly as odd as I thought it would after seeing him all these years in cubby blue pinstripes to see him in Yankees pinstripes. So, congrats to him. Word Hole Media.